A judge in Chicago ruled Friday that an attorney for Jussie Smollett might have defamed two black brothers who testified that they participated in a fake racist and homophobic attack on the actor when she suggested they had been wearing whiteface. The Chicago Tribune reported that U.S. District J. Discussing how Smollett had told police that one of his attackers was white, Glandian said that the very dark-skinned brothers might have put makeup on to disguise their color. Further, she criticized Chicago police for their alleged failure to investigate an online video showing one of the brothers in whiteface doing a joke monologue with white makeup on. Abimbola and Alabanjo Asunero filed a defamation lawsuit, alleging that the comments were part of an effort to pour. On Friday, Rowland suggested that Glandian's comments could be seen as defamatory, an apparent attempt by the lawyer to dispel the inconsistency in Smollett's story, the attackers had light skin, and bolster her contention that the plaintiffs, who are not light-skinned, were Smollett's attackers. Ta. Explaining that the attackers were white, red in context, adds the implication that the attack was a hate crime. The ruling means that the defamation count against Glandian could go to trial. They look forward to their day in court and will continue defending themselves against other defamatory remarks, the brother's attorney, Gloria Rodriguez, told the Chicago Tribune. A call to Glandian at her Los Angeles office was not immediately returned. The ruling is the latest legal twist in a story that has been chock full of them. It started with a search for attackers that turned into an investigation of Smollett and felony charges against the actor for allegedly lying to police. Authorities said he hired the brothers to carry out a fake attack. Just last week, three months after a jury found him guilty of felony disorderly conduct, a judge sentenced the actor to 150 days in jail. Smollett was six days into his sentence on Wednesday when an appeals court ordered his release from custody pending an appeal of his conviction and sentence, 